Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Novus Big RGB magnifying desk lamp. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. Okay, so here we have the magnifying lens and the lamp is a ring light around it. And this does have a glass lens as opposed to plastic. We have microfiber, instructions, remote, the clamp. Here's the adjustable arm. So this looks like it opens up to about two and an eighth inch, although this foam will compress just a little bit. So if you're at two and an eighth inch, this should fit on. So I'm going to clamp this to the edge of my bench. Next, I'll insert the adjustable arm. So it has a threaded knob here for tightening it down. The magnifying lens then goes in this clamp here. So I'll loosen this up. I'll pull this wire through. There we go. And I'll tighten this down. Okay, so I have the lamp set up here, and this has a USB plug on it, and it has controls on the cord. So you could plug this into a phone adapter, you could plug it into an outlet that has a USB port, a battery, a car, RV. There's many options for plugging this into. So now that I've done everything, we can look at the instructions here. So we have what I did, you uh, run the wire through the clamp, clamp down the light, clamp it to a table. On the back here we have the specs, and it says LED 72 SMD, and that means surface mount device LED lights. So this has 72 individual LEDs in it. The charge, and I think that really refers to the power, is five volts at two amps. The magnifying glass is 5X LED magnifying glass. Material is aluminum alloy plus metal plus K9 optical glass. So it has some other things on here. Important to note down here at the bottom, it says do not place the magnifying glass in direct sunlight. So this could start a fire if you put this near a window and it was to focus the sunlight onto a surface of some sort. And it says use the cloth that was included to clean it and never use detergent to clean it. And it is not waterproof. So I'm going to plug this in. So this is kind of a dual purpose device. It's a magnifying lamp, but it also has RGB on it. So you could use this for lighting things for photography. You could use it as accent lighting, like for decoration and such. So if if you need this on occasion to do say beadwork or something, you could use this for that. And then when you're not using it for that, you could say shine it up against a wall to cast blue light on the wall or something. Or you could use it if you're taking photos and you want to cast blue light on your face or red light. So this does come with the remote control and it comes with the controls on the wire. I'll turn it on. So here's on. Let me turn off my light here so you can see some light on the desk. Let's click mode. So this is a flashing RGB mode. This is kind of a fade mode. These are different kind of like flashing modes. There's a strobe. Well, there are quite a few modes on here. Then there's up down that dims and brightens it. RGB button that just changes the color and the color mode. So this is the color temperature. So this has like a warm, a blue, and kind of an in-between light. So you can also use the remote control. It does have plastic you need to pull out here to activate the battery. We can turn the light off, we can turn it on, and it has RGB. And then it has different, you have like orange, looks like cyan or turquoise, I'm not real sure. I'm not good with my colors, yellow, pink. So it has all these different colors. And we can turn the brightness up and down. So this has 18 color modes, five types of dynamic rainbow color changing effects, and it has 10 brightness modes. So let's take a look at this as a magnifier. So I'm going to loosen up the clamp, get it down here. I have a circuit board here. So this is under the magnifier, and this is without it. So it's kind of hard to see on camera the magnification level, but I can easily read like these numbers on the circuit board standing up at the desk. So it really helps to see them. It doesn't look quite as big on camera, although the camera is closer to the magnifier than my eyes. Let me see if I back this up a little bit. Yeah, that doesn't change it a lot. So in real life, this looks a lot bigger. It looks probably twice as big 
from where I'm standing. And I'm actually a little bit further away from the magnifying glass. So this would be very useful for things like soldering, maybe like needlepoint, scroll sawing, beadwork, jewelry work, anything where you're struggling to see something, this is a nice option. And since this is on an adjustable arm, it leaves your hands free. And this also swings out of the way. So if you sometimes want the magnifier, you can pull it in place and swing it out of the way when you don't want it. Let me turn this around real quick so we can see what the lights look like. So this is the light. I'm gonna click through the modes a little bit. So you can see some of these are multicolor modes. So I'm going to readjust the camera and I'm going to cast this on the wall so you can see what it looks like when it's pointed at a wall. Okay, so I have this pointed at a wall. So I'm showing this in case you want to use this as a decoration. So we have like red, green, blue. Try some of the different modes here. And it can be a little difficult to show a light on a wall with my camera so it looks a little different in real light. It's not quite as dark on the edges as it looks like on the camera. So this is one of the multicolor lights. So it's like blue on the bottom, green on the top, and it's just kind of changing around. I guess while I have it here, I can show it in white and then I'll dim it. So my camera's adjusting automatically. So it's hard to see how dim it's getting, but it does dim. So that is the Nova's Big RGB magnifier lamp. Like this is a great option if you're looking for a magnifier lamp, but you would also like the dual purpose of having an RGB light. So this could be good for say like a dorm room, an office. If you have a place where you do craft work, but then you also use it for social gatherings, you could have this and then you could use it for your craft work at certain times. Then if you have a party on the weekend, you can point this at the wall and turn it on one of those RGB modes and you can have a little bit of lighting there. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.